I don't care, I'm still free. You can't take the sky from me. Take me out to the black. Tell them I ain't coming back. Burn the land and boil the sea. You can't take me. Hey guys, and welcome back to Lima Tech Tips with me, Lima. Okay, anyway, today we're going to be doing another car boot sale haul, and we're going to start, say, with this uh, fantastic new laptop that I bought from my mate Darren, who's having a car boot sale. Went down there, saw this, I thought, what a beast. And even better, I found it's running Windows Vista, which I tell you what, guys, most underrated operating system out there it is actually my favourite OS. It's so hard to find a computer with it on nowadays. But, so when I saw this, I leapt on it immediately, and I bought it. So uh, I booted up the ready to save time, but I can assure you it boots up and longs in within five seconds. Fastest OS. That's why it's my favourite. It's so fast. It's so clean and accessible. Uh, unfortunately, it's not supported by anything because uh, I think that Microsoft is a genius in making this was somewhat underrated. Anyway, I'm going to do a quick uh, little, little program I like, which will uh, do a good speed test. I can't spell apparently, but don't worry, this operating system corrects it for me. Anyway, let's give her a quick test. This is just the index speed that's slowing it down, not the OS. Maybe it's because I've got shite Wi-Fi. Uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so you click it as you can see, and you click the biscuit. It adds. Ignore the lag. That's just the video camera. Yeah, the, the lag is all the video camera. It's it's not the OS because, as I said, that is the fastest around. Right. Okay, we're having a quick look at the specs here, guys. Uh, right here. Look at this, Pentium, oh man, they are the newest in the, the line of Intel processors. Maybe not the newest, but they are, in my opinion, the best. I'd reckon you always go for a nice Pentium. Anyway, as you can see, it's a dual core, they've got to the core there, because, um, uh, you know, Microsoft are a bit uh, cut the corners sometimes. Especially with the new old paint system, this is the four they cut the corners. Anyway, dual core, that is the best, because it properly evens load between the cores. You go for those new four and six core processors. They just it sacrifices the uh, clock speed, which means it slows down overall, and it just it makes it may way worse. But here, you know, the, the processor and the operating system they complement each other, so they sort of work in harmony, and uh, to give the fastest and best performance. Uh, the RAM is three gigabytes. Uh, because whoever made this laptop was clearly unconventional and breaking all social norms. He thought, I'm going to go for 3 gigabytes and not because he was a tit. 32-bit, that's because 64-bit, uh, a bit too much for some people, me included. Uh, and I think that's enough looking at the specs here. Uh, but anyway, that is this nice laptop. I'd recommend if you see anything like this. But, I mean, you know, I what the price. I mean, this was definitely worth it. Whole 200 quid. You know, but it was completely worth it. I'm very pleased with that. Anyway, time for our next item. <laughs> okay, guys, I've got the next item up here. It's uh, a dual pack that I got from the same car boot sale. You can cheer, squeaking. Anyway, uh, let's open up the uh, original packaging here. As you can see, pristine quality, no creases whatsoever. Anyway, let's open up the contents. As you can see, they're standing to attention here. Fuck that. Uh, anyway, as you can see here, the first uh, graphics card here is NVIDIA Quattro. Quadro, rather. And uh, you can tell it is one because it's got the name on the front here. Which is very helpful, especially if you're... Uh, it could be intelligent like me. As you can see here, the width, that really shows you how powerful a card is. When they've got to put extra width on it just to fit in uh, these bits, uh, you can really tell that, that is going to be one hell of a card. And look, look at all of those little silver bits on there. That is a sign of quality. Once you've got this card that was just completely flat 
uh, green. It didn't have anything on it. And that didn't really work too well. Uh, anyway, moving on to the next card. It's got uh, this nice snazzy pattern on the front here. Looks sort of like an atom having a spaz attack. Or having sex with itself. Uh, another wide one, maybe a good sign of quality here. And look, it's got this little protective barrier. That's yeah, my pet dragon. <laughs> yeah, it's got this little protective safety bar here. So in case um, some kind of tourist comes inside your computer, then they don't fall off the edge here. I think I'm doing the right thing there. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got these little wires here, and um, very good. Ooh, hang about. Hello. Oh, hello, Todd. How are you doing? You want me to give money to the church funds? Well, um, I'm sorry, Steve, but I can't really help you out there, mate. It's been a bit of a tough month, you see. Um, you know, I went to uh, I went to Darren's car boot sale. You know, yeah, yeah, lovely bloke he is. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard he used to have um, games of poker with the Pope sometimes, but um, I think that's old news now. Anyway, yeah, um, I went there and I spent all of my money here. There, in fact, I'm a bit in debt now. I had to take out a loan. It was uh, not a cheap one either. Yeah, I went down that payday loan place just down the street. You know the place. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, yeah, they do quality. Uh, what do you call them? Interest rates. You know, it was only one thousand two hundred and sixty-seven percent interest. So uh, I'll have that paid off. A few weeks, and then uh, then get back to me. I can donate to the church funds. Yeah. Well, uh, see you, Dan Pell. I'll see you later, mate. Bye. Yeah, Vickers, eh? Right, let's get on with you guys. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it with that graphics card. Let's move on a bit. Right. Not done, right. Um... Right, okay then, guys. This next thing I had uh, delivered today. It arrived today, as a matter of fact. In fact, it arrived about 16 seconds ago. I bought this off of uh, Wish.com. They do some cracking deals at Wish. They do. They, uh, they did spell the name wrong, but I think that's all right, to be perfectly honest. And we also did say that it was going to be an iPhone X, which I think they must have got their maths wrong. Well, uh, anyway, let's open up this bad boy. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh, look at this. So you see guys, this has a, a story with it, this phone does. You see the screen's a bit cracked there, that's bloody pat. You see my postman, I was reversing out my drive the other day in my um, 1986 Audi Quattro. And uh, I was, I put it in reverse, floored it back down the drive, whipped the wheel around, did a J turn. But unfortunately, as I was drifting around the edge of my driveway, Turns out that Tigger had been having a fight with Pat's cat. And um, Tigger had done this massive manoeuvre and knocked it into the path of my car as I was just around the corner doing a perfectly legal manoeuvre. I skidded onto Pat's cat and uh, turned it into a new colour of paint. And you see, Pat wasn't too happy about this, especially considering that he had to pay the bill to get the council to go clean it off. So, um, Pat, and Pat has been having a bit of a go at me ever since. I mean, just the other day, he uh, threw a brick in my car window and shouted, that's for my cat, you bastard. Uh, and the other day, he decided to um, try and steal my GIF, which I wasn't too happy about. <laughs> Don't worry, Tiggy, you'll still have your GIF. I'll see to that. But, uh, yeah... Oh well, it's not like I paid too much for it anyway. It was only seventeen hundred pounds. We to see wish are normally quite uh, cheap. Doing a bit of filing, guys. 
Oh, fuck's sake, Tigger! Oh, bloody hell, Tigger, you can't drink for shit, can you? Oh, Christ, Tigger, what have you done? Best laptop. I'm gonna clean that up now. In fact, no, Tigger, you are gonna clean that up, mate. Please spare a moment to listen to this message from the Environmental Charity Agency. I've given. I've given. I've given. I've given. Have you? I'm giving right now. Britain's wind farms need your wind. Imagine if everybody in Britain spared just one bum trump for charity. Those 64 million air biscuits would be enough to keep our wind farms going for years to come. So pick up one of these special Give Wind jars, fill it with a quick fanfare from the Drowser Trumpet, seal it and send it to us at this free post address. How do the wind farms use your farts? I don't know. We didn't really look into it. I mean, they probably just plant them or something. Please, send us your blanket rippers. Remember, every guff counts. Give wind. Today. Uh, someone open a window. The cameraman's fainted. Mm. Oh, bloody hell, it's Jim's cat. Notice oh, bagger. Oh! Right then, guys, time for the final item in tonight's show. So, the next thing on tonight's agenda, guys, is this brand new motherboard, which I bought again from the car boot sale. I have saved the best till last year, guys. You are going to love this. Check this out. It even comes with. A free CPU in its original packaging, no less. It's a bit baggered in the packaging. As you can see, it's got some wear and tear on the front, but that's no big issue. Give it a quick wipe down. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, you can see here the little specs. It's a, an i5-2588. That means it is exactly 2,588 minutes old and uh, it is 3.3 gigahertz and so uh, that is nice and powerful there and unfortunately it was made in Costa Rica so the green is weed um, but that is not too big of an issue especially when you're as culturally diverse as me the bloke filming this is actually black ignore the colour of his hands as is that cat. Right, let's get her out of the box. Yeah. Right, okay then, let's take her out of the packaging. Be very careful not to damage her. Look at the sheer amount of dust there that means that it is uh, uh well used and aged and as you can see here they've even left the uh, cpu guard in there whatever you're supposed to call it as you can see this actually fuck that there we go so in here we can uh, where's the other where's the costa rican cpu gun here we go so you can just you know, shove that in there, oh, leave it. shove that in there, give it a whack, and that is what's going to power your beast of a computer. Uh, it's not supposed to do that. Anyway, guys, uh, that was it for this episode of Limeth Tick Tips with me, Limeth. I do hope you enjoyed, and would very much appreciate it if you rate and subscribe, and uh, watch this video over all over again, so that I can get more money.